Hello Internet people. In this quick video, I'll show you how to add a sitemap to Google Search Console. Arnie, what do you think about this video? Just average. What the heck, Arnie? You're supposed to be my hype man. Tape sweat punch. Alright, I assume you already have a sitemap. If you don't and you are on WordPress, check out the video that appears on your screen now. And if you are using something else besides WordPress or you don't want to use WordPress plugin, check out the video that appears on your screen now. Let's get started by going to Google and search for Search Console. And click on the first option. Then click on Start Now. If you have an account already, you will see a page like this. If you haven't signed up to Search Console yet, then please pause this video and you need to sign up for an account and verify that you own the domain. I show you how to do it in the video that shows up on your screen now. So double check that you have the right website in this drop down. Next in the left menu, go to sitemaps. Then paste the sitemap URL. You copy it a bit earlier into the sitemap field and click on submit. Google will now crawl your sitemap Arnie, tell them how it works technically. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. And once it's done, it will show you this message. But if you notice, in the submitted sitemaps, I get a couldn't fetch error. I did some digging and apparently sometimes there's a bug in the new search console and that you should come a day later to check if this status has changed. And once you come to this page the next day, you should see something like this. Now, if you have a new website, it might take up to weeks for you to show up in Google search results. And if you have a more established website, then it might be just minutes. You can always check if Google search has picked up your site by going to Google and searching for site colon and your domain. The site colon thing is just to tell Google that you want pages only from this domain. For example, in my case, Google has picked it up but because I've purposefully set it not to appear in Google, the only thing you can see is this thing, where it's basically just saying, hey, this website exists. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!